Okay, so, you must have been mm -hmm. waiting for another video, and, um, here's the next video. I'm actually going to be doing another mm -hmm. toy review. It's on the dial. It's on a dilophosaur. I don't know what company this is from. I would like to find out. I'll ch I'll tell you in the description below. Well, yeah, in the comments actually. And um, it comes with this plastic thing. It's probably just for, for packaging, though. I could see it. It could also be used as a stand if you don't like them in this kind of like looking up pose at something. You could kind of just like. Put them on, put them in the stand, where, which, kind of makes them look a bit more looking down. No articulation, just a figure. You could kind of move his, like, you could just, like, turn his, you could just, like, kind of move his arms, though. They're not really meant to be moved. And honestly, I think it's a nice figure to have with all your other dinosaurs. Even though it does have no articulation, so what? Just the awesomeness of it is pretty cool too. Just like some, if I close up on it, you don't really get a good view though. The red paint you can see on the crests, just real nice. And like, it's kind of like I'll have like a tanny on the, like a tan, like in the middle section. Like right here, I'll show you with my finger, like all the like, way from the bottom jaw to like right here, and like the further thigh, and just like it kind of like the fact that it just like it's just like a certain area of this tan color, not all tan down. Mm -hmm. that, honestly, I th I don't really like tan. Just like a little bit of tan makes something look great, though. Too much tan, I'm just like, no. Though, that, yeah, that's the Dilophosaur that I just happened to find, and it's, I think it's worth it getting it.